I do not condone any of these methods shown in this video to be used to copy and steal and replicate mods. Hello and welcome back to another day's E King Skyline YouTube tutorial. Today we are going to be le looking at reskinning modded clothes. We are going to need a couple of things today, and this is going to be Daisy Tools, your P drive mounted, your game data extracted, the usual, and Mikiro's tools. It's best to use the AIO installer and get everything nice and installed. Sometimes it causes this area if you just download the program itself. Today we are going to be using DPVO tools and Eliteness. Again, it's best using the AIO. <laughs> so, we are going to need our P drive open and we're going to create a new folder called YouTube modded uh, YouTube mod clothes and inside this we'll create a data folder And we'll go and copy a config from my other YouTube clothes. And we'll paste this in just here. So now we need to go and find our mod clothes and our modded clothes config. Today we're going to be using my modded clothes. Um, let's go and have a look for the DH clothing pack. Let's go and right click on that and we will open that with extract all pbo types which is using dpbo tools so let's press any key when it's done so we'll now take that folder and place it on our desktop and we'll delete it from the mod so now we can open this up and now we can look through it and we can look through and find the item that we're going to re reskin in i'm going to reskin a rucksack today the DH rucksack. So what we'll do is we'll take a copy of this config and we'll paste it in our data folder. So inside this data folder, inside this config with Makiro tools, you'll get this lovely stuff at the top. You can delete that. You can delete everything in the units right here, like this. We'll take the CFD patches class DH backpacks here we will put this as a required add-on and we'll now call this YouTube mod clothes data so as we can see here we've got a nice long list of everything that I've inherited and we're just going to do a quick search for the rucksack so as we can see my rucksack has a base here so what we'll do, we'll delete all the way up to the container base here and we'll delete everything under the rucksack also. As we can see just there, we'll take a couple of these off. So if a piece of clothing item has a um, multiple textures, you'll more than likely find it has a base if it doesn't, we're going to go and have to look for that stuff. As we can see here, mine has the hidden selections called Camo Ground, Camo Male, Camo Female. We'll take a copy of this and we'll just chuck this here for a minute. Okay, as we can see, that's all nicely done now. Our hidden selections materials and selections and textures were already called. If these wasn't called, what we can do to find this is we can look for the model so the model is rucksack g underscore dot p3d so we can go into the mod and look for that model so we know it's rucksack dot p3d and underscore g for dot p3d so we'll take a look at this one with eliteness so rucksack dot p3d and we can scroll to the bottom and we can see that the hidden selections was called camo male, camo female, and camo ground. Sometimes mod creators and Daisy all use different camo selections. It's either ZBY Tech, camo, 
camo male, camo female, camo ground, or I tend to use camo one, camo two, camo three. So we didn't have to edit this one, luckily enough, but there's the config and it's already there if we need. So as we can see, this one already has DH rucksack with DH rucksack base. The way that this would work normally is you would see it as something a bit like this. What we would do is we would copy our rucksack base to the last one. We would also copy it to here. So now we have DH rucksack base with the base and the base. So your config will look something similar to this when we're ready. So we can call this class now YouTube uh, Rucksack. Inheriting from the DH Rucksack base, which is called here and inherited from. And it is also calling the DH Backpacks config from the DH Backpacks mod. So now we need to go and find the textures and we need to go and apply some new textures to this rucksack. So what we'll do is we'll open back up in that mod folder that we was in, which should be on our desktop. Clothing pack, data, packs, and we're looking for rucksack. We can take a copy of this. We can put this in our data folder here. We can open text view. We can put this in here. We can save as PNG. So now we have it in a PNG. We can open it up in Photoshop. While we're waiting for that to open in Photoshop, we'll set our texture selection. So what we'll do is we'll open up the folder again. We'll go to our address bar and we'll take inside our data folder, everything from YouTube mod close upwards. We'll go to our config and we'll do a quick search for everything just before the texture. So as you can see here, everything just before the texture is always selected. We can do a quick replace of our new one. So as you can see here, now that says YouTube mod close forward slash data forward slash DH rucksack. That is as it would be in here. So forward slash rucksack like this. This is how you can get the full selection if you need it. But this is not the name we're going to be using for this one. So over in Photoshop, now this is lovely and opened, we can apply some textures. So for this one, plain and simple, I'm just going to go for a quick pattern overlay. We will make this nice and big. And we'll save it. Okay, while that's saving, what I'll do is I'm going to make another one so we can make two. And we will give this one um, some camo that might fit. There we go. So we can save this one as underscore co one. And we can delete the PAA now. So now we have these two saved here as PNGs. We can go and rename these to YouTube Rucksack underscore one. And I'll do the same for the next one and I'll call that underscore two. You can call these anything you want. So what I'll do is I'll copy these names here and I'll put them in here like this. So we've got YouTube rucksack one and we'll take another copy of this so we can make two rucksacks. And we'll put this one underscore two. We'll change these ones to underscore two. Now we can save this config. This config's done. We just need to convert our PNG textures here to PAAs. So convert PNG to PAA. And we'll do the same with this one. PAA. Now those are converted, we can delete the PNGs. We can go back to the first config that we copied. 
we can now change these YouTube close to YouTube mod close. You can call yours anything you want. It doesn't have to be DH. As long as this config here, patches, is different to this config's patches, we should be fine. Make sure both of these configs are saved. Now we can go to our P drive. We can make a new folder called app YouTube mod loading. Inside this, we can create a new folder called add-ons. Now we're ready to pack our PBO. So now we can go to add-on builder. Our add-on source directory will be YouTube mod clothes. And our destination directory will be the add-ons folder that we just made. So YouTube mod clothing, add-ons, clear temp folder ticked, binarize ticked, binarize all textures, and enable extended logging ticked. Open up the options. This is an important step. If you miss this step of copying this line and making sure this doesn't look exactly like this, your texture won't apply in game. So now it looks like this, hit OK and hit back. And fingers crossed, everything goes well. Build successful. Now we can go over into Daisy and we can test this. Let's go parameters, make sure we've got offline mode selected. We'll go to mods and we'll load the clothing mod. So for me, I was using DH clothing pack. And we'll also load local mod, which is the mod that we just made. So the app folder, so app YouTube mod clothing. So now we have the clothing pack modded, uh, the clothing pack loaded and our mod loaded. So now we can hit play and we can wait for offline mode to load and we can see if our closed retexture was successful. Not all mod creators have a way to reskin their clothing. Some mod creators only create one skin, but the general sense is that most mod creators will be generous enough to make the mod properly. So with our Daisy loading, when we get in, we can open up the object spawner menu and we can type in our class name, so for us it was uh, YouTube Rucksack underscore one, I believe. For now, I can just type in YouTube. There we go. Spawn these in maximum. As you can see, it's got all the slots that my rucksacks would normally have. And the, uh, the text has been applied too. I hope this has been helpful. Happy days, Ian. And I will see you in the next one. Did you know that Devil's House Creations now has a Patreon page? We have two different membership levels. We have the Angel membership and the Devil membership. Both have access to the Devil's Island DayZ map when it comes out for alpha release. So if you haven't, come join us now.